Five reasons why you should become a full stack developer in 2019. JJJ, yeah, 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 you already know, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Your boy is back and I done did it again. All right, guys, so we're going to start with number one. You no longer will be limited to what you can only do on the front end. Meaning, I've seen this a million times in portfolios. I see people doing the same React projects, doing the same little view to do apps, doing the same tutorials that somebody already showed you online. I've seen people that have literally every single thing that <laughs> Traversing Media has done for you guys in YouTube for free, but you guys don't even edit it a little bit or change the colors or nothing. It's literally just a copy from YouTube, okay? And a lot of you guys are limited to that because if you can only just do the front end, you can't really create projects yourself. You can't come up with an idea and say, you know what, man, today I want to create a project about, I don't know, you know, uh, create a service, right? Create a service where users come in, sign up, they register, they do all of these things. You can't really do that because all you know is just the front end. All you know is the static pages. All you know is maybe connecting to a Google API to show you a little map and, and say, oh, I'm going to show you all the coffee shops around this neighborhood. Bro, everybody has done that. That's not going to show that you are going to stand out from everybody else out here. Trust me. So when you only know the front end, is it's like you're limited to just like one little section of web development okay so definitely knowing the full spectrum becoming a full stack developer is going to open doors for you to be able to understand and create projects that are going to be way beyond the little hey let me show you something on google maps right okay now the next one number two more gigs a lot of you guys have been looking for work right online and trying to get some jobs in reality you won't get hired for a lot of uh, different gigs because they need somebody who might know MySQL, who might know PHP, who might know WordPress, who might know uh, Node.js, can build a microservice, things like that right and if all you can do is just say I could convert something from uh, PSD to HTML CSS and I can make a little slider with react like <laughs> like everybody can do that now that's how it is is you know it's something that's very simple to do and everybody can do it so you won't be able to find really good gigs unless you know the full spectrum of web development which is full stack okay guys so if you're looking to get more money or work for yourself guys you gotta learn the back end shameless plug <laughs> hey guys by the way shameless plug if you looking to learn the full stack make sure you click on the links below check out my website codingface.com we teach you everything from HTML CSS JavaScript PHP Ruby Ruby on Rails uh, Crystal Lang uh, Node like Adonis JS uh, MySQL, <laughs> we added MongoDB, GraphQL, like literally everything that you need for one single price per month. Or you could just buy a single course if you want to. But if you're smart, you want to save money, I would think that you will want to actually sign up for the subscription. Pretty cheap. And check it out. Best way to support me and support what we do here on CodingFace.com. So yeah, let's continue. Shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> number three have a leg up <laughs> right have a leg up above everybody else you know how many guys are out here that only know the front end a lot right there's guys that that's all they can do and it's the same thing for guys that only know how to work with the back end Guys that can only go in there and say, yeah, I could mess around with some MySQL. And yeah, if you give me some PHP, I could build you something, a REST API. And, and that's all they can do. But if you're the guy that I give you a project and say, hey, man, could you build me my e-commerce website and add some extra features to it? And you say, yeah, I got it. You're the one that's going to get hired. 
right? Above the other guys that can only do one job, all right? And that's just how it is, okay? I know it can be a little bit more difficult when you say, man, I gotta learn the front end and I gotta learn the back end. Guys, it's web development, right? Everything is all a big circle, right? Everything is connected to each other. So once you learn one thing, you can learn the next thing, okay? Front and the back, it's not that hard to learn at all. Number four, you get paid more for knowing the full stack, right? You would think like, hey man, I know two things, right? I know the front end, I know the back end, I should make double. It doesn't work like that. But <laughs> at least you will make $10,000, $20,000 more than you would have made if you was just a front end guy or if you was just a back end guy, okay? Look, we really want developers to know as much as possible when it comes to hiring them, okay? When you go to a company, they want you to be able to hit the ground running. They want you to understand everything, see a project, be able to jump into the front end. There's some errors on the menus. There's some errors in the view. Go fix that. There's something going on with the REST API. For some reason, it's not connecting to the database. For some reason, we get in the wrong data. Go handle that, right? And if you can do all of those things, right, the front and the back, you are going to get paid more. And that's why when you look online, a lot of times they, you see this long list of like wish list, right? We're not saying you need to know everything inside of a wish list, but you should try to get to 80%. If you know 80% of what's in a wish list, you're the go-to guy. If you know 40%, eh, this guy, he's able to come in, help us out. You know 60%, the guy's pretty good. Right, but 80% of a wish list, you are the go to guy, the guy that's gonna get paid the most because anything that they throw at you, you're gonna be able to handle it, and that's very important because trust me, web development might seem simpler or for some of you guys harder in, <laughs> in your own house, but working at a company, it could get even more difficult than that, okay, because you don't know what they're gonna throw you. Right? There's a whole bunch of problems that, that happens or sometimes people come up with new ideas. Marketing team wants this. The accountants would love to have this feature. Hey, the CEO would love to have this thing show up on his dashboard. Like you never know what the hell they're going to throw at you every single day, right? But if you're able to do it, then you're the go-to guy where they're like, man, that guy, he's a, a great developer. Let's, let's keep throwing him some, some work, okay? So that's why you're gonna get paid more, okay? The last thing is, you're gonna have a deeper understanding of web development. When you only know the front end, it limits you to just one side and say, okay, I know the front end, I could do a couple of little things, change some colors, make a little animation, you know, uh, I know how to do NPM, and I know how to pull some <laughs> libraries. I could add React. I could mess around with some Gulp, right? But then, if you don't know the back end, whenever you have some errors with the server, you're not going to be able to help out, right? You're going to be the guy that's like, uh, Hi, Billy. Uh, do you know what happened? Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to do a GET request to the uh, back end REST API that you sent me, but... I don't know, for some reason it's not working. And Billy's gonna come back to you and it's like, bro, like you could have went in there, done it yourself. But if you can't do it, <laughs> now you're limited to that, right? Now you're limited to just always depending on somebody else to help you out. And that's one of the things that's the most annoying when you work in a, in a team environment, I'm sorry, I'm the type of person that if I have to stop what I'm doing to help you out, that's wasting my time from finishing what I needed to do, which was actually my work. Now I'm doing my work and I'm doing your work, okay? So it just it just helps out, guys. It's a really good thing to know the front end and the back end, and you're able to build your own applications from the ground up. You know, if guys like Mark Zuckerberg, right? If he didn't know the full stack, knowing how to create, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and working with PHP, if he didn't know that, there would be no Facebook. Same thing that guys like Twitter, right? If they didn't know how to work with the full stack, 
meaning Ruby on Rails and doing HTML, CSS, there will be no Twitter, okay? There's a lot of companies that's out there. The guys that created Airbnb, if they didn't know the full stack, bro, those applications wouldn't be out here, okay? So if you're thinking ahead and you're saying, man, I want to have a longer career or I want to have a better career, I need to prepare myself now. I need to get myself out there now. Not tomorrow, not next year, not two, three years from now. Learn these things now, right? So you can start building real projects and you can start pumping into your portfolio projects that matter. Projects that look like, hey man, this guy, he solved a business problem. This guy, he actually came in and created a, a startup on his own. Like something that you can really be proud of. Okay, the front end is cool. Just knowing the front end and just knowing the back end is cool. But when you know how to do the whole spectrum full stack, trust me, your life is going to be easier. All right. I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Your boy's back and I done did it again. Peace.